What do you think is the most expensive and most complex part of a rocket? The fuel systems, the guidance computers, or maybe the payload fairings? No, none of these things. Surprisingly, the most important and most expensive component of a rocket is the engines. It's so costly that in most rockets, a significant percentage of the overall cost is dedicated solely to the development of the engines. This high expense is why many American companies used to buy Russian engines instead of developing their own. But for SpaceX, nothing is too challenging. From the very first rocket they developed, SpaceX has used their own engines, setting themselves apart from other companies. The most advanced engine family SpaceX has developed is the Raptor engines, which are arguably the most sophisticated rocket engines ever created by humans. However, no matter how advanced their products are, SpaceX and Musk always have something new to introduce. Recently, Musk revealed some mind-blowing upgrades to the Raptor engines, and we are going to talk about them in this video. Before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about the Starship and SpaceX's other groundbreaking achievements. Musk first got the idea for the Raptor engine back in 2009. Initially, they thought about using hydrogen and oxygen, but by 2012, they shifted to methane and oxygen. Methane is a better choice for missions to Mars because it can be produced there using the Sabatier reaction, which combines carbon dioxide from the Martian atmosphere with hydrogen. The first version, Raptor V1, started testing around 2014. This version had a thrust of about 225,000 pounds and used a lot of 3D printed parts to speed up development. It was a complicated engine, with lots of plumbing and sensors to help SpaceX learn how to control it. By 2022, SpaceX rolled out Raptor V2, and it marked a significant leap forward in rocket engine technology. This version was not only more powerful, but also simpler and lighter. The engineers at SpaceX streamlined the design by removing a lot of the extra plumbing and sensors that were necessary in the early versions. This reduction made the engine more flame-proof and heat-resistant, crucial for the extreme conditions it faces during launches. Raptor V2 increased its thrust to an impressive 230 tons, making it the most advanced and powerful engine SpaceX has in operation. This engine set a new record with a chamber pressure of 300 bar, surpassing previous records held by engines like the Russian RD-180, which operates at 267 bar. The Raptor V2's chamber pressure is not only the highest for any rocket engine ever built, but also contributes significantly to its performance and efficiency. To put this into perspective, the Space Shuttle main engine had a maximum chamber pressure of around 207 bar, which was considered groundbreaking during its time. The F-1 engines used on the Saturn V rocket, which took humans to the moon, had a chamber pressure of about 70 bar. These engines were powerful in their own right, but the advancements in materials, engineering, and design have allowed Raptor V2 to achieve higher pressures and efficiency. Although Raptor 2 sounds almost perfect, SpaceX isn't stopping there. They are already advancing to the next level with Raptor 3. Musk recently shared some exciting updates about this next-generation engine, which promises to bring even more improvements and efficiencies. Musk responded to a tweet about the impressive number of Raptor engines currently being produced, stating, We could build a lot more. But the next version of Raptor is really the one to scale up production. We begin testing it in McGregor within a week or so. One of the standout features of the Raptor 3 is its regenerative cooling system, which integrates secondary flow paths throughout the entire engine. This innovation eliminates the need for an external heat shield a significant change from previous versions. Without the need for a heat shield, the engine's design becomes much simpler and lighter, reducing overall weight and complexity. This change also removes the necessity for over 10 tons of fire suppression systems that were previously required behind the engine heat shield. Testing of the new Raptor 3 engine is set to begin soon, promising consistent firings at SpaceX's McGregor test site. It's worth noting that around this time last year, SpaceX was conducting some of the first Raptor V3 firings. In May 2023, Musk tweeted, Congrats to the SpaceX propulsion team. Starship Super Heavy Booster has 33 Raptors, so total thrust of 8,877 tons, or 19.5 million pounds. 
Although this test was essentially experimental, it laid the groundwork for the current, more developed Raptor V3. All integrated flight tests so far have used the Raptor 2 engine from the first flight to the fourth. There has been consistent improvement in both engine performance and the vehicle itself. However, occasional issues like early shutdowns during liftoff or the booster's landing burn persist. More testing and the new upgraded engine should help resolve these problems. During these tests, Raptor 2 demonstrated significant enhancements over its predecessor. For instance, during the second integrated flight test in November 2023, all 33 Raptor engines on the Super Heavy booster ignited successfully and completed a full-duration burn during ascent, which was a notable achievement. This was a significant improvement from the first flight test in April 2023, where several engines failed during launch, and the vehicle's stages did not separate as planned, leading to an intentional detonation by SpaceX for safety reasons. During the third flight test in March 2024, all engines performed reliably during the launch, and the vehicle executed its maneuvers successfully. The upper stage of Starship, powered by six Raptor engines, reached a maximum altitude of about 90 miles and achieved a top speed of roughly 24,000 kilometers per hour. However, the mission ended prematurely due to a loss of telemetry just before the planned engine cutoff. The consistent issues with early shutdowns and landing burns made SpaceX work even harder on the new version of the Raptor engines. It will be fascinating to see Raptor V3 in action during a full flight test. Fortunately, we won't have to wait long, as testing is expected to begin within weeks. Raptor V3 has ambitious goals regarding power and propulsion. Initially, the Raptor engine's thrust was 185 tons force with Raptor 1. With Raptor 2, this increased to 230 tons force. Now, the target for Raptor 3 is 280 tons force. A more powerful engine allows for a larger Starship variant, meaning it can carry more weight into space. For instance, with Raptor V3, a significantly taller Starship 3 could place over 200 metric tons into orbit in a fully reusable mode. This means the rocket can be launched, returned to Earth, and be used again, which cuts down costs compared to single-use rockets. The Starship system is designed to be a fully reusable two-stage-to-orbit spacecraft. The first stage, known as the Super Heavy Booster, is 70 meters tall and houses 33 Raptor engines. The second stage, the Starship spacecraft, is 50 meters tall and is equipped with six Raptor engines. These engines provide the necessary thrust to lift the entire spacecraft off the ground and into the upper atmosphere. The booster generates more than 16 million pounds of thrust, making it the most powerful rocket stage ever built. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.